good morning so the official silence into how and who and why sohail ayaz a convicted pedophile uh, and a serial child rapist who had served four years in prison in the uk and was deported to pakistan after that how he was recruited and hired by uh, either the world bank or the kp government uh, for uh, as a consultant and he was working on KP's health sector reforms and so on and so forth. Uh, the World Bank chief uh, in Pakistan, the World Bank head in Pakistan, in a response to my tweet, said vehemently denied that the bank had anything to do with his hiring, and he said that the hiring was done by the KP government. Uh, the KP government so far is silent uh, officially uh, on social media. It initially uh, there were murmurs that it was that it denied it, but. Uh, has yet have yet to come across any official denial uh, by the government about it, and obviously it's difficult to deny when uh, something like this has been done. But what we need to do is we need to find out that why he was hired, how he was hired, and um, he actually was a consultant from November 1st, 2017, right up till November 13th uh, yesterday when his uh, contract was terminated. So. Who does all the vetting for consultants for government projects? And there needs to be a revamp, comprehensive revamp of this. And as mentioned earlier in yesterday's clip, there needs to be a national registry for sex offenders and pedophiles where police uh, place names of people who've been convicted of these crimes so that, and this database should be publicly available on the internet to people so that they're aware of the presence of these monsters in their midst. And uh, it would be good if the KP government would be more forthcoming about what happened and what it plans to do about this.